Well, Patrick, looks like we're just not meant to get to Neptune's paradise. Maybe we should just go home. What? Who are you? What have you done with SpongeBob? What are you talking about, Patrick? The SpongeBob I know is defiant in the face of insurmountable odds. He's what? In the face of what? I don't know. The point is, you shouldn't give up so easy. We're a team and we won't quit, never! You're right, Patrick. Why should I let these little setbacks get me down? Together, we can accomplish anything! Exactly! And I'll help you think of something as soon as I finish my sandwich. Oh, hey! That reminds me, I saw Sandy working on a rocket last week. Maybe we could use it to get to Neptune's paradise. That's a great idea! Let's get over there and ask her! Uh, I'll tell you what. Let me finish this sandwich, and I'll catch up with you. But we're a team! Partners! Deodorant in the face of indisposable odds, am I right? Pepperoni! Spicy. Okay. Well, I'll just meet up with you later then. Uh-huh. Oh, oh yeah, anything you say, SpongeBob. Hi. Nice place you got here. Yep, I've been here coming up on 25 years. Best grilled cheese in town. You must be old. You're a charmer, aren't you? Say, do you happen to know a land squirrel named Sandy? <sighs> know her? I just got off the phone with her. She ordered her usual. Really? Well, I have to talk to her. You want me to deliver it for you? Ah, that's so sweet. Thank you, fella. She's at Jellyfish Fields. She says she needed a recharge and a slab of baby back ribs would do the trick. Ugh, Texas food. Well, here's the order. You be sure to get it to her right quick. I don't want any complaints. You might have a future here. Thank you, ma'am. You don't have anything to worry about. SpongeBob is on the case. <laughs> Look it up. Hiya, Sandy. How's it going? Pretty good. I'm all tuckered out from chasing jellyfish. I wonder where my baby back ribs are. Hey, Sandy, do you still have that rocket parked outside your house? Hi Why, I sure do, SpongeBob. Does it work? What a coinky dinky. I was working on her just the other day. All I need to do is tighten some hoses and check some gauges and she should be fit to launch. Why, wanna go for a ride? Actually, I need to get to Neptune's paradise and I was thinking... Yes? That maybe you could give me and Patrick a ride there in your rocket. Why, I'd be tickled to SpongeBob. I haven't been to Neptune's paradise in ages. Oh, well, I only have two passes. And I already told Patrick he could go. That's okay, partner. I got a pair of passes in the mail the other day. I was gonna throw them out, but luckily I haven't gotten around to it yet. Huh. These passes seem to be pretty easy to come by. So tell you what, as soon as I get my ribs, I'll head back to my house and fix up that rocket to go. Lickety split. You got yourself a deal. Let's go. I gotta go, Sandy. I'll catch you later. No problem, SpongeBob. I'll see you on the flip flop. <laughs> once you get your water helmet. There's a 
a sea snake in my water helmet. I better find some way to charm him out of there. Come on down to Sardine Sundries. This week we got a whole bunch of specials that will blow your mind, man. Really choice stuff. I'm serious. Sniff this. We just got these babies in this week. Dream glasses. All you need to do is be near a buddy of yours who's sleeping, put on these glasses, and you'll actually enter your buddy's dream. Man, you could really freak him or her out. I mean, like, whoa. And this week only, dream glasses are free. You heard it right, I'm nuts. Skiddly bop, look at these. Skull candles. They're just like a regular candle, except they're shaped like a skull. Wowzers. So come on down to Sardine Sundries, 174 Barnacle Road. We never close because time is an illusion. Dig it. This place is weird. Hello there, life traveler. How has your journey been? Okay, I guess. I almost tripped on a rock outside, and the stuff on the walls is making me a little dizzy, but I'm okay. No, no. I mean your journey through life. How has that been treating you? Skiddly bop! Uh, well, I'm trying to get to Neptune's paradise, and I'm not having much luck so far. In fact, I'm pretty much right back where I started. Your feet might go in circles, but your mind soars with the eagles. Wow, you have a really intense aura. It's yellow. Want me to read the bumps on your head? No, not really. So what kind of store is this? We enhance life. We give your brain a car in which it can speed through the highways of the universe music. Sounds dangerous. Don't forget to buckle your seatbelt. Maybe you can help me. I have a friend who's sleeping like a rock he won't get up, and I need to borrow his clarinet. Got anything that'll do the trick? Sure, man, sure. What you need are dream glasses. Dream glasses? Yeah, put them on when you're near someone who's sleeping, and you can see into their dream. But what's even weirder is that they can see you. I don't quite know how they work, actually. Wow, so I could use dream glasses to get into someone's dream and ask to borrow his clarinet. <laughs> hey, man. Whatever sizzles your whistle. So do you want a pair? Yeah! Uh, but I don't have any money. Money? You insult me. We don't even accept money. We are here to serve all on the road of life in their quest for happiness or fun parks. Hmm. Well, then how do you stay in business? Oh, trust fun. So you want some dream glasses? Go ahead and grab them. I think there's only one pair left. It's at the other end of the store. Thanks! The... far out! I've always wondered, what exactly is a freak out anyway? Well, see, it's like this. Yes? You go to a place where there's a lot of other people. Yes, yes. And then you all start dancing around a big campfire. Yes, yes, yes. And you open your eyes really wide and say stuff like, Man, you don't even have to talk. I can hear you think. Okay. And then you freak out. It's really great. Sounds kind of boring. Uh, I guess you just got to be there. I suppose. Well, I'm going to go. Nice talking to you. Anytime, man. I like you. You may be square, but you're no square. Dig? Whoa. Hey! Now I know I've seen you before! Oh, hello, stranger. Nice to meet you. Why are you pretending to have never met me? I just saw you at the bus stop in Rock Bottom. Rock Bottom? No, I'm sorry. You must be mistaken. 
I've never even been to rock bottom. I'm pretty sure it was you. You even sound the same. People say I resemble a famous movie star. Perhaps that is what's confusing you. No, I don't think so. Well, I'm sorry, stranger. I just can't help you. What are you doing here anyway? This place sells the best hacky sacks. I need to get one. Yeah! To replace that Kelpsy can you were kicking in rock bottom, right? I'm sorry. I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, forget it. Forgotten. Well, I have to go. But I've got my eye on you, Buster. Ooh, how will I ever get to sleep again? Wow, look at all these people. Hey, Squidward. It's me, Squidward. Huh? You look kind of like SpongeBob. I got here just in time. There's been a mix-up in our dream. Yeah, well, I'm listening. This is the dance recital. Dancing is clearly a left brain activity. The clarinet recital is over at the right brain. Oh, well, I'll just get on over there. No, 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 don't bother. I'm covering right brain tonight. Just give me the clarinet and I'll head over. You stay here and dance. Dance like you've never danced before. Yes, yes, of course, I will dance. I will dance like the wind. Good, knock him dead. If I could just have that clarinet now. Yeah, sure, here it is. Remember to clean the reed. Oh, I don't need to tell you that. Right, great, okay, will do. Later, Squidward. Bye, Squidward. Great, now I can use this clarinet to get that sea snake out of my water helmet. Wow, I'm glad I'm back to being me. Being Squidward is hard work. That's a good idea. I can't go to Sandy. Visiting Sandy. Hi there, Sandy. How's it going? Oh, hey there, little square dude. It's going pretty good, except I can't find my oxygen tanks. Why do you need oxygen tanks? Because that's what my rocket runs on, silly. I switched it over to oxygen fuel a few weeks ago. It's cleaner. Maybe I can help you find those tanks. That'd be great. I've been looking all day. Darn near turned this whole place upside down. I know they're somewhere in my dome. I just don't know where. I'll find them and bring them back. Don't you worry, hey, Sandy. Yeah, great. Thanks, SpongeBob. Then we can get going to Neptunes. Wow. I finally. <laughs> Sandy! 
Andy, I found the oxygen tanks. Woo-wee! I knew you could do it, my little wrangler. Now let's get our rears in gear and hop along to Neptune's paradise. 